boys, play along with us. We love hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop. Smoke weed every day. Oh, oh yeah. Always on a high level. So, with no further ado, we got Peter Jackson in a motherfucking building. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir. Respect. Um, and even speaking of like the high caliber artists and different things like that, right? You got collabs like with YG, Tory Lanez, Waka Flocka, and more, right? Mm-hmm. What's your favorite one? Um, Sizzla Kalanji, probably for sure. Uh, just just based off the fact and I, I mean i get asked that a lot but based off the fact of like the relationship that we actually have yeah like it's nuts and like my experience when i went to jamaica and it's it's crazy um i think i've told this story to like specs and um like sean i don't know to ching ching and sean paul i think i told them about it because they asked me how me and sizzler got so tight right and now i can speak about this because it's been so long yeah yeah so somebody hooked me up to get sizzler on my miss right record mm-hmm. i'm gonna tell the whole story too this is crazy yeah, go for it. okay go for it this so way. somebody hooked me up with with sizzler to do that record so i paid from here from toronto to do the record i got the record back I got a much fact for that record, mm-hmm. and it was on radio. Nice. Ooh, nice. So when I got the much fact, my manager hit up Sizzler's people that we found. Okay. Sizzler's people were like, yo, call us. So we called them right away, and they were like, that's not Sizzla. And we mm-hmm. were like, what? And bro, mind you, this record is playing all across the city at this point. On, and nobody knows this. Right. On like the radio stations, the DJs are playing it, Everyone's whatever. Running. Everybody's playing the record. Yeah. They're saying it's not Sizzla. And we're like, bro, like it's listen to the record. He goes, No, no, no. It sounds like Sizzla, but he wouldn't say a woman tastes sweet. X, Y, and Z. He, yeah, yeah. No, that exact those exact words. He would not say she tastes sweet. Mm. We wouldn't do it. That's not him. Right. No. And I'm like, yo, like I'm like 18 years old, bro. I'm like, my life's over. Like yeah, I'm thinking, yeah. people are gonna think I'm some white boy that bought a, a verse from this guy, and, and and I was just playing and whatever. So I'm like, yo, listen, like I just got a twenty five thousand dollar grant for this record. Like, what am I gonna do? Mm. And they were like, come down to Jamaica, come to Kingston, meet Sizzla, explain what happened, and let's get this record redone. Right. Wow. I was like, what? They didn't ask me for no bread. They didn't ask me for wow. nothing. I was like, amazing. So me, my manager, and two guys went went down to Kingston, mm-hmm. and I, I waited in Judgment Yard at one of his houses that had been burned down okay. that they all hung out at, and I met him. We vibed. He took me right to King Jammies. We re-recorded, and we shot the video the next day, wow. and nobody knew, and still wow. to this day, nobody knows. Like, I've told a few people I'm like the one, yeah, but yeah. now at this point, like, much fact's gone. That's not going to hurt yeah, me. Yeah. I mean, shout outs to the, the president of Bell Media. I spoke to him today, but I mean... That's not really, like, I did what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I actually don't mean this in, like, a really bad way, but, like, bro, I was I so... I my obligations. Good yeah, man. no, but I was terrified at the time. Mm. Like, I was super terrified, and, like, mm. the way it just worked out. And, like, he respected me because I still came. Because right. they were like, yo, where'd you get this? And I was like, yo, it's not really about that. Like, because the guy that I got it from didn't do it. He didn't even know. He still doesn't know. Now right. he knows. He like, he didn't cool. know he did this. Breaking news. Like, no, really, though, they just didn't know. Yeah. And, that's crazy, the fact that you... Bro, the record still plays. Yeah. People still play that version, and they just think there's two different versions. Wow. And they're both Sizzler, basically. No, well, one One's not. And one is. One was an imposter from Baltimore who wow. did the dub. So the man and I brought dub. it to Sizzler, and like, we cracked the whole thing. We figured ah. it out. Yeah, it was crazy. But the guy who sold, that set it up for me didn't know this and still doesn't know this. He knows now. Like, they so have it. dubs from Sizzler right okay. now. Wow. That that's, they probably use. Wow. Yeah, it wasn't his fault, though. I'm not like. No, you're not. I never even brought anything. him into it. You're I never brought his name up once. I wouldn't. To work out that yeah, way. nah, he's been good to me since then. Like, yeah. real good. We still do business. But, you know, it was just uh, it was just super scary at first. And, yeah. like, he took me to King Jammies and we recorded that. Then he put me on a record that was on an album called Scriptures, I think. Okay. And Scriptures came out and, and I was on that record too. And then after that, it was like I started supporting. Like we sent, Mia Eyes um, from Parma Media sent twenty um, 
sent like 20 computers down to a, a like a community college and Dope. we I do a lot of work with him and stuff and I go nice. I went and met his mother and, and and stuff the last time on his birthday and so we're super close but that like I know it was a simple question that you asked but like that's why I really like him like just the experience and, and how real it was like yo I put that that man in a kind of awkward position and like I I was at his house for 2 hours without him with like 40 people and like trying to explain the story to these guys of like why I was there and like what happened and like yeah. yo I just need to make this right cuz like my career will be over yeah. like that's how yeah. I felt yeah yeah it's crazy yeah, that's dope like cuz even at the end like the simple fact that you and your two virgins or was it you and your two brothers? You said right. Flew out Me, there. my manager, the the video director, the and like the. Assistant. So you and a small group of people basically just flew out there on the strength that yo, this guy is gonna give you this. Do this. I'm, I'm, we didn't know what he was gonna yeah, do at you first. You didn't know at first, but it was a misunderstanding, but that was the, and you want to clear up this understanding. So you guys yeah, flew out there. I needed for, to, bro. For that simple fact, he gave you know in his heart he must for have like, gave you ratings for that. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying, yeah, he ate he breakfast with like, like yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, Okay, I'm, I'm I'm gonna show up and then don't show up for <coughs> No, they would have ate it and never said yeah. nothing to nobody. Yeah, they would have gave back the grant. You they know what I'm saying? Bro, at that point I had got like one or two much facts. And like at that point, like you if you didn't get a much fact, you like kids weren't shooting videos for fifteen hundred bucks. No. Mm-hmm. They were good. No, now kids are needed. shooting videos that are good for five hundred bucks. But like there was a time where you needed that twenty five plus twenty. Plus twenty five thousand. I never did that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twenty five thousand. But yeah. I never did like crazy like we spent like big big budgets but i never like you know carl wolf shot eighty thousand dollar videos you know, wow. i ain't shooting no eighty thousand dollar videos yeah but i shot forty thousand dollar videos with the help of much fact and stuff so i never wanted to mess that up like i was really like when i say terrified i mean that yeah i yeah, thought yeah, i was yeah. really you know messing yeah. my, my my thing up and he was just the like the, like we ate breakfast just the two of us and like 40 people would be like you know like upset about it but he was on some like really giving me game at that point because mm-hmm. I given him something that like I think these guys were taking mad bread out of his mouth and they figured it out yeah and what was a piece of game that and you were 18 around this time right I was I was exactly 18 yeah so meeting Sizzler around this time and at this time Sizzler was already an accomplished artist doing a whole bunch of shit right what was a piece of game, game that he that he w- was might have passed on to you around that time that you took with you um the guy who named Sizzler and named like I, I don't quote me but he I'm pretty sure he named Bouja Bonten and Bounty Killer uh-huh. and like a bunch of other people's names, Mr. Harris. Yeah. So we were out in front of King Jammies and he asked me, he's like, why do you do this? Like, what's like, you're not going to win if you don't have a purpose. Right. Like, uh-huh. You really got to be doing this for a reason. I was like, I want to be the reason, like, I want to be the reason everybody around me eats. Like the reason my family eats. I want to mm. help. I like doing charity shit. Like I told them, like, I I want to, you know, sports teams, whatever. Like, I told them basically to help other people. Right. Mm. And they were like, they went in, we went in depth about it, but he showed me that I needed a purpose. And, like, I was super young at that time. Like, I just started cracking with the business stuff, so. Yeah. Like, they showed me what I needed to do. And what, what made you start rapping in the first place? 